What's going on guys? My name is Doug. Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here for episode 9 of Putting Y'all On. Can you believe this is the ninth episode of this series that I'm doing on this channel? I'm so happy that I'm able to finally make it a monthly thing. It's something that you guys have been invested in and so I, I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. It's one of the major reasons why I started the channel in the first place and so I'm just happy that this is becoming a series that's like kind of taken off a little bit for the channel. So um, if you're new to the channel and this is the first episode that you're watching, you might be wondering kind of what this is. Putting Y'all On is a series that I started on my channel where my subscribers hit me up on my Instagram DMs because that's where it's the easiest to keep track of uh, messages and they send me their music or their friend's music, or music of a relative, or something like that. Any music that they want me to review that is by an up-and-coming artist. And I don't mean some up-and-coming artist that just signed a, a deal but nobody really knows about him. I'm talking about like underground, like make beats or music in their bedrooms and they're still grinding and hustling. Like those up-and-coming artists, you know, guys like Kay Hella who are killing it in their bedroom studio. They send me these submissions, two per person, and whether they're a producer who makes beats or they're a band or they're, you know, a, a rapper or a singer, whatever the, the style of music is, I, I don't discriminate. Uh, they send me their submissions. I listen to all of them. I choose the very best ones and I showcase them on the channel on these episodes of Putting Y'all On, which is why it's called Putting Y'all On, because I'm putting you guys on to some new underground up and coming artists that really deserve your support and don't have enough of it. And for the people that don't make it into the video, they don't walk away empty handed. I, like I said, I listen to all the submissions and even if they don't make it into the video, I still give them some constructive criticism. I explain what it was that I like about their tracks, what it is that I didn't like necessarily, what could use some work, things to tweak. And they can always go back, tweak things around a little bit and resubmit either the same tracks or different tracks the next month, you know? So there, there's no rule where you can only submit for one month. Um, you can always keep trying. I do an episode the 15th of every month, God willing. I know this isn't the 15th, you know, this month, um, coronavirus, my wife got sick. She didn't get the virus, but she, she was feeling a little ill. So we did everything to prevent all that. And I was taking care of her and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Life happens and things didn't work out. The episode dropped a few days later, but Normally the 15th of every month is the deadline for the submissions and that's when the episodes will drop. So any submissions that I got after yesterday, which is when I chose these tracks, um, will be considered for the next month episode of Putting Y'all On, which will be number 10. So uh, with that said, I, I, I normally don't do intros this long, but I like to explain what this series is for the newcomers. Um, we've got, I think, six artists. So, yeah, we've got six artists to showcase this month. Um, but more than six tracks, because like I said, each one gets up to two. So some, some of these artists have two tracks that we're going to be listening to. And um, the links will be in the description to all of these songs. If you want to give them a listen yourself. And if you want to add them to your playlist. If you want to follow the artists. All of that. You can find the links in the description. And we're not going to waste any more of your time. We're just going to jump right into it. So, oh, and by the way, support the channel. Because by supporting this channel, you support these artists that I'm showcasing. The more subscribers I get, the more recognition these guys get when they end up on an episode of Putting Y'all On because the more people will view the videos, which will listen to their music, which might end up following them, and so on and so forth. So just be sure to show some love to the channel and to these artists. The first track that I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today is by a band named Loud Fox Cult. One word, Loud Fox Cult, and it is called No Love. Let's get to it. As I said, we don't discriminate music genres here. So, are there things that could have been done a little better here? Yeah, the mix was a little muddy. Um, I think the vocals could be a little cleaner. Um, sure, but, and, and it could also be louder, you know, it needs to be mastered as well. But, I wanted to really praise their song structure. You know, their, it, it's a very coherent song. It's got verse, chorus, verse, bridge back into the chorus i believe um it's got nice performance the verses have one main vocal the chorus have layered vocals with harmonies you know the instrumental arrangement is really dope 
So like I said, with a little bit of cleaning up in the mix, this is going to sound way more professional, but in terms of what the actual band themselves can do, like in terms of what they're, they're doing right, you know, they're, they're headed in the right direction. They've got the song structure, they've got the passion, they've got the vocals down, they're singing in key, you know, they've got the energy, they've got the, the arrangements down, they've got the talent. All they need is a solid engineer and their sound is going to be next level, you know? So uh, this is definitely a band that I wanna be keeping my eye on. I wanna be listening to their singles and to their music because I really can't wait to see how they progress and how their music is gonna be sounding, not just a few months from now, but like years from now, you know what I mean? It's gonna be sounding great. Uh, this style of music really reminds me of, of my younger years, you know, it's, it's more the lane that I used to listen to. For those of you that don't know, I've really only been listening to hip hop for like six years. Before then, this is the stuff that I was into, you know? So very nostalgic for me personally. And I just think that's a really fun track. If you wanna check it out, the link is in the description. Loud Fox Cult, this track specifically was on Spotify. I'm not certain that it's on SoundCloud or anything like that. The link to the track is in the description. Be sure to check that out. Now this next track that I'm gonna be showing you guys is on YouTube. Um, it is by an artist named A. Risu and Brad X Day. And uh, I really think that this is worth a listen as well. So check this out. Very complex melodies, the layers, the bells, the flute, the guitar, it's super nice. We pull up from the walls and run the top down just to hold them knees to see. I know my big homies proud of me, they young niggas be who we supposed to be. No way ain't pulling up a gate. We pull up from the walls and run the top down just to hold them knees to see. Yo, this is knocking. This beat is crazy, bro. It's a great track. It's got a great bounce to it. The mix is very clean. Uh, the melodies are very, very catchy. In terms of the actual production melodies, uh, the little bells, the guitar and the flute are super solid, very nice. Um, you know, it's just got a really wavy bounce to it. It rides, and I personally think that it knocks. Definitely worth your listen. It's got 11 views on YouTube. Run those up. Run those up, because this track is too good. The next track is a track by an artist named Blue Nightmare. It's also on YouTube. Um, and this track is called Incomplete Slash All On You. So it's like two in one. And the music video itself is actually really creative. I'm not going to put it up on screen, but if you click in the link in the description, you can watch it as well. The visuals are super clean, super nice. Let's check this out. You made me feel it. The vocals are crazy, bro. The bass line is so soulful. Little melodies over the top are so nice. Yo, the beatbox drums sound so clean. Those vocals in the background are so nice. Showing off some vocal range there, I like it. Two very smooth tracks put into one music video. Both of them have a very incredible display of um, vocal range and, and vocal ability on Blue Nightmare's part. I'm not sure whether he produced it as well, but I know that the production is very complex. It sounds very professional. It's mixed very well. The soulful bass lines, the plucked melodies over the top end, uh, the, the background vocals providing like a bass layer for him to just sing his heart out over. You know, the beatbox drums and then the, the actual hip hop drums come in or the R&B drums come in afterwards. I mean, all of it is just very clean, very well done. The transition is smooth. Everything about this just sounds great in my opinion. I think it's got a super unique R&B feel. And so, uh, yeah, be sure to check it out. So this next track is actually a beat. It's from a producer called uh, Ray Off Key. And uh, this is a Lil Uzi Vert, Young Thug type beat called Space Yacht on YouTube. And it's free for, uh, free for non-profit use, I believe. So um, be sure to check this out, especially if you're a rapper looking for beats. Mix is super clean, kick is knocking, the bass is nice, the melodies and the bells do sound very little Uzi Vert-esque, it's got a nice bounce to it, this beat's great dude. I love those keys in the, in the melodies man. It's nice. 
always adding another melody to switch things up and keep this, things interesting. It's a fire beat. The melodies sound perfect for little Uzi Vert and Young Thug. The mix is super clean. And uh, yeah, the bounce to it is great. Everything about it is just fire. Check that out. Space Yacht produced by Ray Offkey. And uh, we're gonna listen to another Ray Offkey beat called Itching. Now this one's got a little bit more of a bounce than that last one. That little melody is insane. Those hi-hats are absolutely what create this bounce. They're crazy. Yeah, that was Itching by Ray Off Key. Be sure to check that out. That bounce is nuts. I almost want to use it myself, but uh, I'm gonna leave that one for you guys. <laughs> this next track is from an artist from the UK called OG Kemi. It's called Dior. And this is gonna be an artist that a lot of you Playboy Cardi fans are going to enjoy. I'm telling you right now. Take my word for it, but you don't have to. You can just Listen to the track yourself. So what you this is nuts, bro. Yo, what's crazy is that he's a UK artist, and so the hi-hats have like a drill pattern to them. But everything else about this beat just screams Pierre Bourne, you know what I mean? So I, I love that little juxtaposition, it's great. It's a really unique bounce. Yo, this is riding. Crazy bounce, crazy vibes. It's riding, it's knocking. You gotta love it, man. You're nuts if you don't check that track out on Spotify. It's insanely good. We do have another track from OG Kemi, and it's called Clouds and 808s. Yo, that little synth melody is insane. His delivery is so confident, bro. I love it. Yo, he's really spitting, bro. Confident delivery, crazy flow, awesome performance, awesome uh, lyrics. He's actually spitting, and the production is great. I love the synths, love the piano melodies. It's super. Uh, emphatic and angelic and the bass is great and the drums bounce and it's just a really cool track so be sure to check that out that's actually on the album called fables 2 by og kemi it's also on spotify but that track is called clouds and 808s like i said link is in the description check that out do yourself a favor and check it out the last track of the day is from an artist called kid wavy with two eyes um this is also on spotify it's called sail on <laughs> The performance is so smooth, but the flow is really fire. Yeah, it doesn't have a really complex beat or anything like that, but the guitars are really smooth. They're very fun and jovial and, and easy on the ears. They're very nice to listen to, very pleasant. And um, the flow is pretty fire. The performance is nice and confident, but it's also just as smooth as the track. He's not doing too much. He's not overpowering any of the, uh, the instrumentals and the instruments are overpowering his vocals. He does his thing on it. It's a nice little wavy track. If you want to listen to that, the link is in the description. And that's the last track of the day. So uh, to the six artists that made it into this video, really enjoyed listening to your tracks. Really hope that you guys get some plays off of this video. To everybody watching, if you enjoyed these tracks, man, check them out, listen to them for yourself, run up the streams, run up the views, you know, retweet them, repost them, share them with other people, and let's get these guys the recognition they deserve. They're working hard, they're making good music, and they're providing the entertainment for us. So we gotta show some appreciation to them, guys. I really appreciate you all for rocking with the channel, for watching this video. Be sure to support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, become a patron, follow my social media. The bigger the channel gets, the more recognition these guys get for getting onto a video. And so, you know, the whole purpose isn't just to build a platform for myself, it's a platform for everybody that ends up on these videos that, that is trying to come up in the same way that I was. So um, be sure to show some love to the channel. Comment down below what you think. And uh, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, and uh, peace out.